guys, I'm Melissa. Welcome to month 33 with my toddler, Bracey, and with your toddler. During his 33rd month, Bracey had an amazing time swimming in the pool. He had, you know, his ups and downs with the potty training. Hanging out with his siblings was a real high point. He loved going to the park and he had fun discovering some new fine motor activities and other different toys at home. It was a really, really fun month. What's typical for a 33 month old when it comes to speech and language? By this age, most toddlers can say over 100 words starting at the age of two and a half. Many toddlers display a noticeable increase in vocabulary and language skills. Utter three to four word phrases, including with an action word like sad cow fell. Gracie, what you reading? A new book. Use the past tense when making reference to their own experience saying things like bracy swim. Articulate parts of a story you read to them. For example, you're reading Harry the Dirty Dog and your toddler says, Harry now clean. By this month, you can focus on pronouns. I think part of the reason toddlers struggle to say I, we, and you is because we don't use those when we speak to our toddlers. We say mommy would like Bracy to go to bed instead of I would like you to go to bed. At this stage, experts advise that it's a good idea to start using pronouns with your toddler. I would do this in two ways. Number one, show your toddler how to speak by literally putting the words in their mouth. When your toddler says Bracy wants cheese, speak for them and say, did you mean to say, I would like some cheese, please, mommy? And I would throw a little bit of politeness in there so that they understand how you should ask for something politely. Second, model your own speech. Instead of saying, mommy would like Bracey to go to bed now, say, I would like you to please go to bed now. And remember, try not to say no. Instead of saying, no, that's not right, or no, that's not how we say things, just say the positive, correct way to say something without having anything discouraging in there in terms of how you're reacting to the way your toddler is speaking. You want to keep it positive. A little more when it comes to the whole idea of not saying no. Try not to say no so much to your toddler. I sometimes think toddlers hear our voices the way the characters in Charlie Brown's Peanuts hear the voices. Blah, 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 blah. In order to keep things positive, master your words. Rather than saying no to your toddler all the time, explain something. So if your toddler asks for chocolate before dinner, rather than saying, no chocolate, no chocolate, no chocolate, say, Listen, I would like you to have your chocolate after dinner or have a piece of chocolate after dinner because I want you to get all those healthy foods in your tummy first. Try to keep the emphasis on the positive. Another thing is that it helps to offer up the reasons behind your decisions because this teaches toddlers about why we do the things we do and how we go about structuring our days. In terms of great physical activities for a 33 month old toddler, concentrate on the same skills you've been building on in prior months, getting onto the play gym, going down the slide, bouncing up and down on the seesaw, going on the swings, short runs, bike riding, and when you're home, just try to come up with anything you can to keep your toddler moving. Find motor skills for a 33 month old toddler, finger painting, play-doh, block building, drawing or scribbling, puzzles, leafing through books, other manipulatives and try to concentrate on toys that allow your toddler to sort colors, to count, and to develop their spatial recognition and general dexterity. You're concentrating on the pincer grasp. This is the key to fine motor skills along with general hand strength that will allow your toddler later on to be able to write. Why train sets make great fine motor activities? Well, there's so much involved with a train set. First of all, it's great for your toddler to fit the wooden pieces together. Number two, it's great for them to hold the train and to run it along the tracks. That's terrific. All the different aspects to a train set can really teach them a lot about construction and the way things work in the outside world. And train sets can really allow your toddler to engage in imaginative play, which is a really important part of their play at this point. So consider investing in a train set. It could make for a great gift and it's a really fun thing to build on during the toddler years. 
What should my 33 month old toddler be eating? Your toddler at this point should be able to basically be eating the same foods you're eating as a family. Make sure to try to focus on what they're eating over the course of a week versus just over the course of the day. Keep it fresh, keep it healthy, keep processed food at bay, keep sugar at bay. So you wanna keep track of those main food groups, proteins, lentils, dairy, fresh fruit, whole grains and fresh vegetables. Try not to give canned or frozen fruits and vegetables. Just try to keep it fresh. Try to have fun with the whole thing and try not to stress too much. What is my schedule like with a 33 month old toddler? Your toddler will need around 12.5 to 14 hours of sleep a day. This means 11 to 12 hours at night and a nap of around 1.5 to three hours. Here's a sample schedule adapted to suit your child's actual day. 7 a.m. feed and breakfast, 10 a.m. snack, 12 p.m. feed and lunch, 3 p.m. feed and snack, 6 p.m. dinner, 7.30 a final milk feeding, and 8 p.m. bedtime. Potty training incentives. Here's another issue when it comes to potty training. Is it a good idea to provide your child with incentives? Whether it be chocolate, a small piece of chocolate, a cookie, a candy, a matchbox car, something they can play with. This is not necessarily a bad idea. By all means, if you think this is going to help your child, I would go for it. If you have concerns, you know, talk to your doctor. I think it's fine. We're just having like a sort of verbal celebration, hugs, kisses, and like doing a little dance when Bracey pees in the potty, mostly because I don't want to start like doling out chocolate and I don't really have enough matchbox cars on hand to make that whole thing happen. But anyway, if you've had success with incentives, please let me know by weighing in in the comments section. I'd be thrilled to hear about it. I'd also love to hear about your potty training journey, so let me know. What is the average height and weight for a 33-month-old toddler? The average weight for a 33-month-old toddler is 30.8 pounds for boys, which is 14 kilos, and 29.7 pounds, which is 13.5 kilos for girls. The average height for a 33-month-old boy is 36.8 inches, which is 93.5 centimeters, and for a girl is 36.4 inches, which is 92.4 centimeters. Hope you guys are doing well also and can't wait to see you back soon for month 34.